In San Antonio, the Chicano culture dominates the majority of the city. We eat barbacoa for breakfast. We wear hoop earrings and chain necklaces. We have grandiose fiestas. We love fast cars and have a deep love and respect for our familia. This is where I grew up and this culture is deeply ingrained as a part of my life and self-identity. What if I told you this is also the identity taken on by a group of people from Japan? Men and women of Nagoya, Japan are celebrating and emulating Chicano street subculture. They've discovered an appreciation for the lifestyle through pop culture, music, and international cult classic movies such as Mi Vida Loca and Selena. You'll see these people fully embracing the Chicano fashion and beliefs, and the subculture they've adopted is slowly growing bigger. Mona, also known as Sad Girl, is a famous rapper from Nagoya. She raps in a mixture of Japanese, English, and Spanish, and she proudly flaunts a retro barrio aesthetic. Her music has become very influential, and she performs all over Japan, further spreading the Chicano subculture. Junichi is a lowrider mechanic. He owns a Japanese shop called Paradise Road. It's an auto shop founded in the 1980s that remodels cars, lowers car frames, and installs hydraulics. He learned the trade and many of his techniques while on a trip to California, where a group of Chicano friends truly treated him like he was family. And since then, lowriders have become an integral part of his life, and they continue to be an integral part of the scene in Japan. Everyone will gather at car shows to enjoy the tricked out rides and socialize with a bottle of Corona in hand. Ayaka is a Japanese woman who adopted the Chola lifestyle. Her room is decorated with La Virgin de Guadalupe and um, she has Dia de los Muertos knickknacks scattered throughout. She wears thick black winged eyeliner and dark lined lips a look you'd never see on the average Japanese woman, even in a club setting. Overseas, this look is considered bold, intimidating, and unbecoming of a respectable lady, but Ayaka insists that through the subculture, she found the confidence to be as fierce as Selena, even if it doesn't conform to the rest of Japan's beliefs on what she should look like. She reassures that her intentions are never to mock or offend actual Chicanos. Her participation in the subculture comes from a place of utmost respect and appreciation. Many of the Japanese people taking part in the subculture would say the same. The lifestyle introduced them to morals of respect, importance of family, community, and an outlet for self-expression. So is this really cultural appreciation or is it appropriation? As a Chicana myself, I feel that it is very flattering as long as it does come from a genuine place of respect and appreciation, which it does appear to be. I love that my culture is able to bring the people of Nagoya, Japan so much happiness, the same kind of happiness and joy that it's always bring me. And frankly, if I'm able to enjoy eating sushi and watching anime, I don't see why it should be a problem for them to enjoy carne guisada and imported coronas just the same.